Hi, my name is Foontits. I used to be an assassin until I fell in love. I was retired until an asshole named Mirak killed my lovers. Now I have to track him down and kill him. And then I need to find a powerful wizard to raise my girlfriends back from the dead. Welcome to Skyrim for Pimps. A very special kind of walkthrough. <laughs> Yes, Mirak, we finally meet. You killed my lovers. Prepare to die. Welcome, Foon. Hope you're enjoying Library Land. What? It actually is called Library Land? Yes, it's called Library Land. And I, Mirak, am responsible for torturing you all this time. Well, who are you? Don't recognize me, Foon? It's me, Crotch Guzzler! What the fuck? Seriously? Wait a minute, why did you kill my girlfriends? That was an unfortunate side effect of, uh, trying to find and kill you. Oh, wait, 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 why were you trying to kill me? What did I ever do? You gave me the pancake recipes! Well, you say that like it was a big deal or a problem or something. I mean, what's the problem? They killed my family, all of them. Except for Atroar, he was already dead, but they killed the rest of my family when they ate the pancakes and you said that they would be such good pancakes and you lied! Crutch, the pancake recipes were just a joke. It was just a little joke. I was just messing around. You actually tried to make those? I mean, the, come on, man. The, some of the ingredients were poison and rubber. Nobody makes pancakes with those ingredients. Are you retarded? You told me they'd be the best tasting pancakes ever and I believed you and I tried to win my just family down, over. Crutch. Now they're all Crutch, dead. It's all down. your fault. Crutch? Okay, listen to me for a second, Crotch. First of all, Bajorlam said you disappeared. What happened? I tried to kill myself by jumping off a bridge, but uh, just like in life, I always fail. I can't even kill myself. I jumped off the bridge, but uh, I hit the ground and I just broke both of my legs. Ooh! I was lying there on the ground in utter agony, when then, and then that's when uh, Herman Melville suddenly came to me in a vision, and he said, you can have your revenge. He speaks really slow. Like, yeah, I know all about it. Yeah. Everyone will know the pain you've gone through. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Oh, it was wonderful watching you go down those tunnels full of pages and books. So it was you. You did this. You made me go through all this crap. I didn't really do anything that bad. You're really the asshole in this situation. Oh no, I'm not. Killing your lover was, was barely paying you back. I had a family. I had two children and a wife and a, a servant. Well, I mean, that wasn't really your fault that she died. That was my fault. Anyway, I killed a lot of people, but some of the people died because of you. A few of them. Most of them died because of me. But a couple died because of you. Crotch, look, we can just call it even. I killed your family. You killed my lovers. Let's call it even, man. You can tell you what, let's go, we'll, re we'll go revive all of them. You have that spell, right, where you can make thralls of them or whatever? Let's just go revive- Shut up! I'm, I'm the Archmage, bitch, and it's time for you to die! Fuck you up! Die! Fuck it! Stop running around! Come on! Come on! Ow! Come on, pussy, bring it! Shut up! Ah! Magic! Oh. Fight like a woman! You can't stop me, fool! Die! Bring it on! I'll have my revenge! Fuck you up, Crotch! Ah. Oh, damn it, that hurts! Ooh. Suck my swords down, bitch! Ah. Take it! Take it oh. like it! Stop! Stop fighting! What the hell? Who are you? I'm Cock Nibbler. I was in episode one. Crotch Guzzler. Foontits. If one of you dies, then you can never appear in another season of Skyrim for Pimps. Skyrim for what? Just listen to me. You have to stop fighting. It's really important. Your fans will be very upset if either of you perishes. Well, what's your name again? Cock Nibbler. Well, that's a kind of a sh sh weird name, huh? There's nothing wrong with that name. There's a long history behind that name. I mean, Crotch Guzzler? Foontits? 
you, your names are ridiculous too. Whoever came up with these names is a sick weirdo. A sick, stupid, unfunny weirdo. Well, why should we listen to you? I'm Cock Nibbler. I'm the one who did the main storyline. I killed Alduin and I saved Skyrim. Nobody saw it, that's all. Seriously, you need to stop fighting, okay? Okay, I guess. I don't really get it. But... I don't want to stop fighting. I Foon has to die. Uh, the books. <laughs> Library land. Tell you what, I'm going to make a deal with you guys. Crotch, I can get you out of here. And I can take you somewhere really nice, okay? R really? As long as there's no books, and I don't have to follow anyone or do anything. It's just going to be you and a pile of skulls in a padded gray cell. Oh, that sounds awesome. Well, what about me? Foon tits, come on. What are you going to do for me? What, my lost lovers. Can you resurrect them? Okay, look. That Astrid woman, she's dead. You have to let her go. And so is Serena. What, why are you... You can't have a relationship with two dead women. Astrid, Serena... No, you gotta move on. Alright, fine. But you gotta help me find somebody else I can date. I had a little chat with Freya, and I think maybe she's gonna take a liking to you now, okay? Well, how did you... How did you make her do that? Um, I... You know, I, I just... Uh, drugs. I gave her some drugs. She won't even really know it's you. Alright, thanks. So anyway, uh, Crotch, let's head out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, Crotch, you're gonna need some help. Uh, hey, can we go pick up Mega H Roar on the way? Um, uh, Foon killed Mega H Roar. No. <laughs> Mega H Roar. Wow, that was interesting. I did not see that coming. Holy shit, F fuck Nichols. You can't believe what just happened to me. Oh, there she is. Yes! Freya. Freya. I can feel it. Yeah. The tree stone is free again. Yes. The oneness of the land is restored. The drugs are working, I can <laughs> tell. She sounds totally high. It's over. Mirak is, um... Yeah, well, he's all set. Then my father's sacrifice... It was not in vain. No, of course not. What? Not, no, not really. Not at all. It was a great idea. I'm glad he did that. There was no other way. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Uh, One wait, wait. more thing, Skull Friend. What? While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull Friend. Yeah, so I'd rather be more than just a friend of the Skull. I'd like to be a friend of the Freya. Maybe a friend of the Freya with benefits? <laughs> I really need your help. Really? In the sack. <laughs> you have a companion already. Oh, do I? Yeah, uh, fuck that guy. Hold on a second. Fools! Uh, Teldrin, I uh, no longer require your services. Freya, uh, where'd you go? Oh, it's her hut. Oh, she must be in Shaman's the hut. Shaman's hut. Well, it t as it turns out, Teldrin just left my service, and uh, boy, I I'm looking for a new follower. <laughs> just trying to play it cool here. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, you uh, you want to uh, hang out? I will follow you, Skull friend. Yes. But I must return to the village afterward. Right, right. Return to the village. Of course. Uh, whatever that means. Eventually. I don't know what Mr. Nibbler did to you, Freya, but it sure worked. Hey, do you want to come to my house, Freya? I'm having a dance party. My father was a noble man. And a true skull. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh, um, so anyway, this is where I live. Much better. Shut up. Uh, there's a standing <laughs> spot over here. Let me show you the, the standing spots. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting so excited. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to show her around. Yeah, this is the best house in Raven Rock. This is Severin Manor. It used to belong to Severin Snape. But now it's Tits Manor. Now it's the Tits Manor, and you and me are going to populate it with four tits. <laughs> Even now, the Allmaker watches over us. Oh, uh, well, uh, he's about to see something pretty interesting then, <laughs> if that's the case. Because <laughs> it's dance party time, Freya. <laughs> and we got a dress code here in Tits Manor. And, and that uh, particular outfit you're wearing, not really appropriate. Not up to code. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> So Foon and Freya wave their booties off into the sunset, and thus ends this season of Skyrim for Pimps. Don't panic, Skyrim for Pimps is going to continue. We're starting a brand new character next season. We also have a special episode that will happen before the next season, uh, which I think you'll really enjoy, especially if you're familiar with the history of Skyrim for Pimps. In fact, if you haven't seen all of the episodes of Skyrim for Pimps, I highly recommend you go watch them in preparation for this very special episode, which is going to be a lot of fun. So we really appreciate you guys watching, and um, thanks a lot. See ya.